Well, if the shoe fits, what else he going to call them? Some troubled, deeply troubled individuals. Bullcrap, they're animals. What is going on with you good people? I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel. Do me a favor, make sure you follow me on all the platforms you see listed up here and down here. All right, Prisha Deacon. All right, folks, not gonna waste too much of y'all time, but before I get into this, if y'all don't mind, hit this like button right here so that this video can be constantly and my material can be recommended to you and so that it can go out into the YouTube algorithm. No, it doesn't mean that you like me or that you like the video, but if you feel that the info that I put out should go out there to other blood-born Americans who have a brain, make sure you hit that like button for me, folks. All right. Yeah, I know we just did a video a minute ago on illegals and migrants and all this, but now they're coming for Donald Trump on a statement that he made when he called them animals. You know how they do. You know how they like to twist his words around to push a narrative. That's all they're doing it for is to push a narrative and to push a rhetoric to make Trump seem like he's calling them all these bad things. Everybody that's coming across the border, they're making it seem like he's calling them that when he's not. So they're going to go into the whole rhetoric they did the last election. He's xenophobic. He's racist. Blah, 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 blah. All that great stuff. What am I talking about? Check this out. But right now, the media quick to pounce on former President Donald Trump's remarks regarding Lake and Riley's accused killer. Several outlets and even the Biden campaign claim that Trump called migrants at large animals. But the Trump campaign insists they are once again taking his remarks out of context. Let's bring in Fox News contributor Joe Concha for more on this. So here's what Trump said in Grand Rapids, Michigan, that caused the firestorm. Joe, listen here. And just a few weeks ago, I met with the grieving family of Lake and Riley, the 22-year-old nursing student in Georgia who was barbarically murdered by an illegal alien animal. So the Biden campaign picked that up, just the part where he said that uh, the word animal, and said, oh, Trump is calling mm -hmm. illegal immigrants at large animals subhuman, and then the media ran with it, Joe. Yeah, what this shows without ambiguity, John, is that a growing number of news outlets exist for two reasons. To make Republicans, and especially Donald Trump, look bad, and to assist Democrats, and especially the Biden campaign, in making them look good, basic truth, facts, and be damned. And, and John, you could go out onto the street after this program, and you could ask 100 people if they think 22-year-old Lincoln Riley, Lincoln Riley, being beaten to death in Georgia by a man who attacked her for no reason is the act of an animal, or if 25-year-old Ruby Garcia being shot multiple times and being left on the side of a road to die in Michigan at the hands of someone who entered this country illegally is the act of an animal. An overwhelming majority of people would mm -hmm. tell you that the animal description is appropriate. And by the way, we've seen this movie before, John. Back in 2018, Donald Trump, as president, called members of MS-13 animals. And this was in light of multiple instances of these gang members brutally torturing their victims first before murdering them in the most horrific of fashion, the acts of animals. Uh, but I can provide you dozens of examples of news outlets back in 2018 at that time, purposely omitting the part about Trump specifically talking about MS-13 members and mm -hmm. presenting instead a version where they accused Trump of calling all immigrants legal, illegal, all combined into one entity as Animals. So I would say the fact checkers will be coming to the rescue here in 2024. But you look at PolitiFact and Snopes, John, I'll leave it here. They're ignoring this instance when it probably would be the easiest fact check they can do. Yeah, back to 2018, the New York Times was one of those outlets that said Trump calls some unauthorized immigrants animals in rant. He was talking about people who are notorious for murder, decapitation, dismemberment, rape, among other things. Uh, here's how this yeah. all got going in the, in the last couple of days. The Biden campaign's rapid response posted a video of Trump on X with the quote, Democrats said, please don't call immigrants animals. I said, no, they're not humans, they're animals. What Trump actually said was, Democrats said, please don't call them animals, referring to the alleged murderer of Lake and Riley. But the horse was out of the gate. That meme got picked up by Reuters, mm -hmm. which said, Donald Trump called immigrants illegally in the United States, quote, animals and not human, in a speech in Michigan on Tuesday, resorting to the degrading rhetoric he has employed time and again on the campaign trail. And it didn't stop there. There was this incident on a rival cable network. Watch here. Okay. When he says these, are, these immigrants are animals, they're not humans, what does that su suggest? I mean, isn't that brutal? Shouldn't people be condemning that? 
I listened to the entire tape. He was specifically talking about the person who murdered Lakin Riley in Georgia. And to be honest with you, Wolf, if somebody murders another human being, I think they deserve to be called animals. Joe, I think there's a lot of people who would agree with Scott Jennings that if a member of their family was brutally murdered by somebody, whether they're here illegally or not, they could refer to that person indeed as an animal. Yeah, John. Good for Scott Jennings, by the way, because obviously he calls out his own network for purposely cutting off half the quote there, Wolf Blitzer, in that particular case. And there were other instances of that happening as well. I, the only thing I could say is that at least now the playing field is being leveled in terms of, yes, Fox News has been around uh, for a long time, but social media and, and particularly Twitter slash X, more and more people on there are calling BS on this and getting tons of mm. views into the millions as far as here's what Trump said and here's what happened. So legacy media doesn't have solely the microphone anymore. And by the way, since they're so distrusted, particularly by those in the center and the right, uh, the type of influence they have just isn't there the way it used to be. So between social media, outlets like Fox News, it, suddenly now we're seeing you can't get away with this, uh, perhaps the way they may have been able to even 15 years ago. All right, Joe caught you for us on that. Joe, appreciate it. Good to see you. Yeah, you see what I mean? See what I mean? What, who cares? Look what they're doing to our American people. Animals. Lake and Riley got her face beat to where she was unrecognizable. That is not what you would call a troubled individual who's only trying to find his way. No, he's an animal. If he was an American and did this, he's a freaking animal, lunatic, psycho, crazy, Charles Manson spirit. The heck we talking about? Donald Trump calls some people that rob stores some thugs. Oh, he's racist. What made y'all think that he was racist because he called somebody some thugs? Oh, y'all insinuated that all thugs are black? Huh? That's what y'all do. Now, why would he say a racist remark like that? Oh, so people who rob stores... And people who are thugs, y'all y'all insinuated they're all black, huh? Yeah. That's how I like to push this stuff back in you idiotic liberals' faces. And it ain't all liberals. Y'all know the ones I'm talking about. You of a particular mindset who are easily duped into going along with the dang on mob mentality. Y'all are so easy to be duped. Y'all just jump on the train and just take, and y'all just ride wherever it goes. Don't ask no questions where it's going, how long it's going to take. Uh, is, is it safe? Y'all don't ask questions. Y'all just jump on board and just roll with it. Now, all of a sudden, Donald Trump is xenophobic and he's wrong for calling these people that come in here, beat up our police officers, rape our young women, beat our young women to death. Y'all got a problem with him calling them animals? I'm calling him an animal. Go around and just try to push my name and run it through the mud. You won't do it. Why? 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 I'm different, y'all. I'm Y'all, this is crazy. Go watch any videos that Trump ever did where Trump was talking about these illegals that particularly committed these specific crimes He's calling them animals, and rightfully so. He's not calling everybody to come across the border that are migrants or illegals. He's not calling all of them animals. He's calling the ones that committed these heinous acts animals. But oh no, oh no, y'all are too easy. The news knows that a lot of y'all liberals, and you don't even live left or right, they know a lot of y'all are too easy. They just push it out there and say it, and y'all just roll with it. Don't give no thought to it. Oh, look at Trump. Oh, I can't believe Trump said that. I can't believe he called those precious people who are trying to come across the border and make a better life for their children. Oh, he's, oh my God, they have children, which means he's calling their children animals too. Stop it. Stop it. Y'all are, y'all are just as crazy as who y'all trying to make Trump out to be as being crazy. Y'all crazy. Plain and simple. Cut it out. People here in America that commit crimes, what do we call them? What do we call them? Animals. Huh? Lunatics. Psychos. Serial killers. Murderers. Sociopaths. Pedos. Oh, we can't say that. Let's call them minorly attracted people. Pedos. Pedophiles. Crooks. Thugs. Criminals. Degenerates. The heck y'all trying to do? Y'all don't even realize a lot of y'all have sympathy for the devil. Keep it up. Thank y'all for doing. Thank y'all for the ones that are absolutely 100% behind these people, these lunatics, these, these, these people that Donald Trump called animals. For those of you who are trying to support them and take it for them and defend them, thank you for drawing the line and showing us which side you stand on. Thank you. 
No, Todd, it doesn't mean. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. We're not talking. Uh, let me let, let me look. I'm gonna try to make this clear because I know I'm talking fast. We are not talking about all illegals and all migrants who are coming over here. We are talking about the ones who did what they did to our American brothers and sisters. And it's a shame that y'all won't even defend them. That's what's crazy. Anyway, y'all, don't forget, let me know what y'all think about this video. Let me, that, <laughs> I want to go in some more, but I'm not going to do it because I know people attention spans are really short. Don't forget to hit this like button right here that's going crazy so that this video can be circulated within a YouTube algorithm. And I also would love to hear what you guys have to say on this specifically. Do y'all know any specific incidents that pissed y'all off that I have not caught wind of yet? Do y'all think that they're trying to run a rhetoric to push this whole agenda against Trump because it's an election year? And do you really think that Trump called all people crossing over animals? Whatever the case may be, leave it in the comments below after this video, all right? Don't forget to get into those cell phones, let somebody know about this channel, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, your contact list in your phone. Let them know about this channel and encourage them to subscribe to the channel after checking it out. Let's hear it, folks. Can't wait to see these comments. I am Ty Smith, model renaissance man, hoping to pray that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing, and most of all, I pray every last one of you guys in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.